match review. I haven't said that in a while. But as you guys can tell by the title of my video, I'm doing a match review. This is basically where you guys like submit your wrestling matches, your off-season jiu-jitsu, MMA, wrestling, whatever matches, and I critique them as far as the wrestling goes. And today we're watching Caden Henschel. I believe that's how you say his name. Caden is like a kind of like a phenomenon in like the three to four people that actually do wrestling videos. He had like a thousand subscribers like a, like a couple weeks ago and now he just passed me. So go subscribe to him, go check out his channel. I like his content, he makes really good vlogs. Um, and today we're gonna go over his video. But before we get into that, I wanna let you guys know that I just got a brand new toy. If you guys don't know what this is, it's a gimbal. It's like what holds that camera that you're looking, that you guys are like seeing me through. It holds it like super steady so you can get shots like this. <laughs> For the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6. I'm gonna get a lot more shots like that. I got a drone. I'm gonna like. Trust me, this summer is going to be dope as fuck. It is going to be dope as fuck. Yeah. So like, just jumping right into this. He starts off the match. I like. I guess it started in the middle of the first period, or like right after the whistle blew. But they were already aggressive. Caden's like ear to ear. I mean, this kid's good, like what can you do? I understand you're trying to get head position, but it's not good to be ear to ear. No, notice Caden's knees are bent. Caden's knees are bent, but they're a little bit straight. Now the reason why I emphasize bending the knees so much is because when your knees are straightened, like the distance from your head blocking someone's shot and your legs is just a little bit closer and it makes it easier for someone to like shoot at you and like touch like touch your legs you know what i'm saying so like if i'm wrestling if i'm wrestling right and i'm like this and someone shoots at me like and like they bend my head in a little bit they're just gonna get just close enough to touch my legs and maybe get a grip on my legs whereas if i have my back straight and my knees bent my chest out my head out you can block the shot like caden in here right now caden's knees weren't bent but he still managed to block the shot which is like the whole idea of why I say bend your knees. Okay, it's so that he can't get under your legs, so you have time to react, it's so that your hips are far enough away and your head is in the way. And now off the block shot, when this kid is resetting, Caden does something beautiful, okay? Caden predicts how he's gonna reset, he sees that he's stepping up, and he gets the overhook and goes for a fireman's. A beautiful fireman's, okay? He does everything textbook. He does like, literally gets the overhook, go, like, on the reshot, gets the fireman's, throws him over. And as he's about to step over his foot, right? You're supposed to get the fireman's, he's exposed on his hip and his foot is like kicked out. You're supposed to step over it, but like as he's stepping over it, this kid brings his foot back, right? And he defended well. He got his arm on the other side and he was pushing away from his hip, all right? And he circles out. And as he's circling out, he like rolls onto his shoulder and head. Like he, yeah, he rolls up onto his head and onto his shoulder and he like turns his hips over and he hip heist and gets his hips square with Caden's. Now, I know this is like a long shot, but ideally, when Caden was in this position where he was like circling away from him, instead of just trying to hold onto the arm and trying to hold onto the hip, he would have just picked up his head. You know what I mean? He Like the arm that had the overhook, the arm that initially had the overhook, would just go, would just straighten out and try to pick up his head because that's what he has his base on. You know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to take out the base, I don't know, that's like that's kind of difficult to see like in a match, like when it's happening, but that's just something to drill. Like when he's in that position, like hip high thing, then just pick up the head. And when you have this front headlock, I notice you keep it kind of high on the tricep. I don't know, I use, like, I personally usually try to grab like lower at the elbow. And if they're trying to be strong and not let me pick it up and bring it towards their head, I let go of the chin and I shove the, ch uh, the top of their head down while I pull on the elbow and then I like, wrap around the chin again. He just did like a textbook setup to you, right? He's just like tap, tap, level change, like fake level change. You sprawl a little bit. And then as you're standing up, he reshoots on you and does a sweep single, okay? Now in this position, I'm not really 100% sure what the best thing for you to do was. I saw you got the wizard. Your foot is across both of his legs. So it's kind of like a shitty position. Like I think ideally the move was to go like Keep the wizard in tight, put pressure on his shoulder, don't let him get the two, 
and try to wiggle your foot from across his legs to in between his legs and then trying to wizard kick or something. Or like, you know what I mean? Just trying to get out of there somehow. But what you don't do is what actually happened. You shouldn't try to stand up when he's controlling your base because you being on a knee with, even though he's controlling your leg and it's across both of his legs, the fact that you have a wizard in and your leg is much further away from him like then if you were standing you know what I mean and you have a hand to base on as well and your knee so you have like like when you're on the ground and you're in the dog fight or the wizard even though he's controlling your leg like when you're standing the only base you have is your foot and you're just hopping on one foot you know what I mean you can't like push off your hand or you can't switch to a knee or like go to your foot and your feet are much closer to your opponent once you're standing, especially if he's already got control of one of your legs. So this is what happens. You stand up, you try to stand up while he's controlling your leg and he just takes you down. He gets his two, okay. You get to your base, you turn into him, you get your one. Notice how Kaden gets his one too. Look, he explodes up and turns into him in one motion, right? His hips blow, like his hips, Explode up and he turns into him and he stands up in one motion. All right, I don't know if this kid was like didn't want to defend it or But it looked good to me. So you see something that I don't like is Caden Tends to let his head get below his hips. You know, what I mean you see right here This kid's hips are either in line or a little bit beneath his head so that like he's got like a good like Like the power is coming from the right places. You know, what I mean like the power that's coming, that's like being exerted in his head and his hands is coming from his feet up through his legs and his back and like it's doing everything right, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're hunched over, then like it's just, it's just not strong, you know what I mean? Your back isn't like exerting force when it should be. So see, this is, this is a big reason why I say you have to keep your head above your hips because when you go to defend a shot like the main reason why i say bend your knees is so that you can be there to defend a shot and if your knees aren't bent then this happens you get caught underneath you know what i mean and you get caught in a front headlock a lot of the time and in this position your legs are very vulnerable because they're so close to your opponent's arms and it's very easy to get so scored off in this position okay but you manage to pop your head out Oh, and you go immediately for the, you go immediately for a takedown. You get a nice little two. Okay, and you go claw. All right, personally from this position, before he would tripod up, I would be, before he would try to tripod up, I would keep more, I would keep less space in between my hips and his, so I'd be more glued onto his hips. And something I like doing a lot is like, once I get the claw, I would dig my shin into like, I would dig my shin into like the meat of their thigh, you know what I'm saying? And it's very, very uncomfortable to have your thigh right here, like to have your someone's shin right here digging into it. And I'd have them and I'd like be pulling, I'd like my hips would be right on top of theirs. All my weight would be going onto my, sh onto their shin. And I'm trying to pull them over their knee, all right? So like all my weight's on their shin, it's stopping their knee from moving anywhere. And I'm trying to push it out so I can put a leg in. And if that doesn't work, you know what I mean? Some, sometimes you get a really tough guy and he's just, he's got a really wide base and he just deals with the pain. Um, and he doesn't let, he, let you get it through. And then you go like with the spiral ride, then you walk it out and you break him down flat. And then from there you put a half in or like personally, I put a half in just because it's like the closest thing. Like it's like spiral half, but it's just me. So, and that like that stops a big problem. Like the reason why he was able to get up and out is because you let space get in between his hips and yours. You know what I mean? You could have rode him for longer. That claw was good. He goes for a shot, good defense. You see he's blocking with his head, but like his legs are straight, he, but he gets away with it. You know what I mean? His head's beneath his hips. He gets away with it because like, I don't know, he's an athlete. 
but like ideally his his legs would be a little bit more bent his hips would be a little bit further away from him he like his opponent would have a harder time getting to his legs I don't understand what this potentially dangerous was for I don't know what happened it looked like you were like on your way to getting a stack, but I, mean, I don't know. I'm not a ref. Um, like they change the rules every year. So like he gets up, he controls a hand, gets away. If you wanted to hold him down, you could probably switch to a single leg. I don't know if you're about. You can go for a duck. You defend the reshot. Very good. And you just hang out in this position for a little bit. You're ear to ear, which I'm not a big fan of, but I understand it's a tough match. Yeah, see, you got your head cut underneath him again, off a shot. It looks like you're trying to hit like a funk roll from here, and but you get out from behind, right? And you turn into him, but he's still got your leg, okay? And he's posted on his head, and now and you get the two, and then right here, what, like instead of going over the arm and trying to trap it, you should be underneath the armpit. You have to think from every, like literally from every position on top, you wanna be underneath the armpit. Two on one, you go under their armpit. Claw ride, you go under their armpit. Spiral ride, you go under their armpit. Half, you go under their armpit, you know what I mean? If you wanna control or isolate an arm, you have to go underneath their armpit. When you're riding legs, you have to have both arms underneath their armpit. So these things don't happen to you. So they can't just turn into you. You know what I mean? It looks like he hits a Peterson and then he rolls right behind you. And thankfully you have a lot of heart. Thankfully you know how to get up. Right? He's got a claw, he's got a tight waist, and you turn into him and you get out. Okay? Now I'm very proud of you. This was a good win. Right? You beat that ass. Um, but that was a hard match. Okay? You have things to work on. Like, take, take what I say with a grain of salt, but like... Understand that these are real criticisms, you know what I mean? Your stance can get better. Your your third and fourth reaction off of certain things need to be like just perfected, you know what I mean? Like, if you guys haven't checked out Caden's channel, check it out, link in the description. If you guys like my channel, you like my videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button with the notifications. If not, then you won't get any of my videos. But if you guys wanna get picked for match review, then post it in my subreddit and I'll pick the person with the highest, uh, with the most votes. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.